Well, <coughs> I thought I would. What? I'm sorry, are you gonna wear your hat like that the whole time? I do this. It's not. Oh. No, it's just kind of look ridiculous, but. Here. You are that. We can't really. Yeah, that one looks a lot better. Are we good? Yeah, action. Uh, bugs. Uh, it is uh, the mid June, so we have a few bugs here in the Shelburne River in Nova Scotia. So we're dealing with them. We've got black flies, which are kind of dying out. Well, not tonight, uh, because we're in a bush camp right now. We just basically put a camp right here. and But they're dying off. Uh, we've got mosquitoes. And this year, I, I don't know about Nova Scotia, but in Ontario, they're insane. They're this massive, because it's being wet. And we got these huge mosquitoes too. Deer flies are just coming out. And actually, uh, our, our uh, guide, uh, Cody, is it? You got it. Really? Right on the head. Cody said that it's um, it's not, isn't it? You're you're messing with me, Scott. I are, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our professional guide said that actually this is the worst year they've had for ticks. Don't get panicky about ticks, okay? Like they do carry Lyme disease, but right here the brown-legged tick or wood tick does not have Lyme disease. The black-legged tick does. And all the ones we've been picking off this um, are not the black legged tick. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to show you how we, we've been dealing with it. First of all, this beautiful thing called the Eureka Bug Shelter is an oasis. Okay. Oh, it's an oasis. It's beautiful. This is what we live in at night. And, uh, yeah. The history about this too, I, um, I remember years ago Eureka um, had a bug shelter that they would have it for campgrounds and I, I ordered it, this years ago, and I ordered it without the poles and they said why, so I want to take it out in the interior and it's progressed to the point that they sell it for the interior. The new one uh, this year has the tarp blended in with the mesh. And I was sort of like, mm, I, I, the old ones you could unclip the, the tarp and then use the tarp in the summer and then leave the mesh behind. But then I thought, well, no, I, it's lighter without the clip-ons and everything else. And I, yeah, I'm, I'm good with this new change. Sorry, it's been a long day. Um, we left Irving Lake. I think we paddled five kilometers. <laughs> no, it's nine o'clock at night. We just made camp. It's true. Come on, Co Cody, Kobe, whatever. Oh, it's true. Seriously, you, we've had so many deep conversations, <laughs> and then soon as the camera comes out, you forget his name. <laughs> the guy says, "What? You know, after Irving Lake, well, I, I don't know really much about the river. Well, we do now. <laughs> we do. Now. Oh my lord, we walked half of it, and not on the portage. And we did find the portage. It was like, I see a blaze. Good, we're good for twenty meters." Ticks flying on his bugs and mosquitoes. And, oh, this is how we dealt with it. Anyway, all right. So I use uh, I use Benz. It's got DEET in it. DEET is better than everything. And I like this because it's water-based, not alcohol-based. Water-based actually is better for your... Uh, it, you don't smell like bug dope all day. You could tell it's a really bad bug day because I we started using this this morning. And it's down to here. <laughs> I bought the big baby. Ben's wipes love them if you find these pick them up get a whole pile of them because there's these little wipes you put on they're really lightweight so if you're a backpacker a lot more lightweight than actually bringing something like this the other one I actually I've used a lot th this year is Naturpel and it is non-deet uh, it's all natural you do have to put this on more this is works for six hours I've been in the bush a lot in the spring oh my lord I've been this is my fifth trip uh, uh, out in the woods. The bugs are really bad, and I'm using a lot of this. Um, oh yeah, Ben's uh, bug net. We, we haven't used bug nets, have we? No. Uh, so yeah, little lightweight thing in case you have to use a bug net. If you buy a bug net, no matter what bug net it is, make sure it's no seam. If you go to a store that's selling them on sale, it's most likely a mosquito net. You need a no see -em net because the no see will get in, the black flies will get in. So I, I know a couple of those chain stores will, you'll see a mosquito net. It's not a no see -em net. Make sure it's black, not green, not gray. 
because you can see through it better. If you don't have the money and you see one for a dollar and it's gray or it's green, just get a matching marker and mark it in front of you so it's black in front of you. That's all you have to do. The other, oh yeah, <laughs> after bite. So uh, this is what we put on our wounds at night or in our trip. Love it. And especially the stupid black flies on the stupid sandals at night. I hate them. The other is, which none, none of us have used yet this trip, so it can't be that bad, is basically in the first aid kit, Benadryl. Uh, take some Benadryl because if you get really bitten a lot, then you're going to react to it and you need to calm that down. And a good shot of Benadryl will do that. Oh, Scott, have I missed anything? Let's ask Toby. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the scary thing. I've only had a scotch and half. Cheers, everybody. I'm a little tired. I'm getting old. I'm with Scott. He's young. I'm with Toby Bobby. God. He's really young. <laughs> Co Damn it. Cody. Am I running out of tape? <laughs> you calm. You're doing very well. The last bit. People would say, do not go out this time of year. The bugs are insane. Water level's up. We did a lot more than we could have done in like a couple weeks from now. We would have walked the whole entire thing. We're out enjoying ourselves. We got the bug shelter. We got bug... I mean, these guys wore shorts. They're... Oh yeah, for ticks too. So you can use all this product for ticks. I use pant legs. Oh, I cut myself too. Anyway, these guys wear shorts because they're young and foolish. No, no, no. The worst, yeah. you know, Look at your legs! The worst thing about bugs is that you think that they're going to destroy your canoe trip. This was our bug attire. Look at those. Those are sexy. Uh oh, I'm falling over. And yeah, there, there's ticks in Nova Scotia, there's ticks in Ontario now. You just make sure you get them off before they get on you, and if they do get on you, you take them out properly, make sure you get the whole thing out. Don't freak about them. Um, Bobby Joe over here, he uh, when he was a kid, in Nova Scotia, he would, <laughs> so he's getting really mad at me. He would roll around to see how many ticks uh, he would get because he had a bunch of other brothers that would try to compete with how many ticks they would have. <laughs> Cut! <laughs> it's time for dinner. It's like 9.30 at night. We haven't had anything except a scotch and a half. Here's the happy camper signing out on the Shelburne River in Nova Scotia. Cody's gonna kill me, sorry. <laughs> Cody, why not from Why Not Outfitters? No! Oh, oh, damn it. Why geez. not adventure? Look, check it out. It's right there on the bottom, <laughs> damn it. it. Read the script. Okay, nice guy. <laughs> Love the Shelburne River. Love Nova Scotia. They'll never have me again. You can lead a horse to water. Yeah, you can't make him drink. <laughs> <laughs> you lead Kevin to bottle and he will drink. <laughs> Crap, he can't be. <laughs>